Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our weekly analysis. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And this week, we're going to have uh, Federal Reserve rates. Hoping that is going to be rates cuts, obviously. So we expect to see rates cuts. It's going to be on Wednesday. So this week is going to be interesting, guys, because we've been waiting for Powell to, to cut the rates for quite some time now. Uh, but I think we reached that time. And I think maybe we are now no longer going to be in that pressure of higher rates. And what is going to be important is uh, the, the conference after. So are they going to continue cutting the rates slower? Or are they going to cut uh, with 25 basis points? Or maybe it's going to be 50 basis points, right? So, yeah, that will be, actually, that is going to be a very great week for us. So, at the moment, uh, we're just waiting for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a bit boring. Uh, the market, uh, we don't really have any economic news. But Tuesday, we are starting uh, We are starting with the week. You can see here, we have retail sales from the U.S. And it seems like the numbers will be going down. Whoa, this will make gold to fly. But beside that, we also have CPI from Canada. Uh, let's see. It seems like also it's cooling off. If you trade CPI and yours, that will be actually good for you. Uh, I think we will be buying most of the time, right? I think we can trade USD CAD. You buy CAD, you sell uh, USD if the numbers are going to be like this. If actuals are going to be the same as this. So after that, Wednesday, we are just going to focus on uh, federal funds rate. Interest rates here, I, I think analysts already concluded that it's going to be 25 basis points. So I also agree. I also agree, but I will just have to wait and see what are the numbers. I don't really expect a crazy moves, especially once they cut the rate. But I think on the conference is where we're going to have uh, some proper moves are they going to continue cutting how many times are, are they going to cut and that will be a very great week actually so when we go further i don't think maybe we have any aggressive uh, economic news from the us but we also have new zealand uh, gdp australia uh, employment change monetary policy or interest rates from G uh, britain this is also going to be good. I see here it seems like they're not going to cut. Uh, we will see. Then also JPY. Uh, I think this ones they're going to increase the rates because they've been quite lower. But we will see. And Canada retail sales on Friday. So this week is going to be quite uh, volatile. So we will see what will actually happen. Yeah, I, I hope... You will be part of our team. Remember, guys, today is the last day for you to join our $27 special. You can see that. So it's once off, you pay once, and then you will be done. Scan this QR code or WhatsApp me, and then you can start to be part of the team. Then from tomorrow, we are going back to our normal prices. So that from tomorrow, just know that our prices are there. And that uh, is not going to change until December. Until December. So, yeah. And now let's go actually on uh, our markets and see what's really happening. What's really happening. As you know, we are going to start with a DXY or dollar index. For those who always ask me, guys, about the broker that I use, I prefer XMS, XMS broker, XMS.com. Check my description. You will find the link. Use that link to open uh, that account. You can start trading with like 50 rands or even lower, but it's easier to fund and easier to withdraw. So now on dollar index, we easily see that now the market is actually going down. We're coming from this nice uptrend. So we can see that we are, we are actually on this a downtrend and it seems like we are going to see a continuation of that so that is actually good 
uh, especially when we start to see the rates uh, going down. And I think even other countries that are going to go down. So things are going to be quite affordable because at the moment, at the moment, things are quite expensive. So when we say they are going to cut the rates, it's because slowly those prices are starting to go a little bit lower uh, because they were like seriously crazy high. I hope maybe that makes sense. So I think the strategy is quite straightforward. You can see that the market is just consolidating here, breaking out. You can see consolidate, break, consolidate, break. So even here, I think the market will end up breaking here, making USD a little bit weaker. And that's what we want. We want that. We actually want weaker dollar so that uh, the market can move very nice. But I saw, hey, um, gold was already flying. Gold was already flying. So now we are on GBP USD. Uh, I think the structure is quite straightforward. We can see that the market is still on this nice uptrend. Here, it's actually our support area. And we can see that the market touched that. So I'm expecting maybe another reversal there before we get another push. I think on Wednesday, oh, sorry, on Tuesday also, because we have retail sales, if those retail sales are going to be weaker, I think we'll see another push to the upset. So I hope maybe we are going to be on the same page. We are going to be on the same page. If you are part of the team, know that it's going to be a very nice one because we will be submission in the market. But anyways, uh, at the moment, at the moment, we just have to uh, relax here because uh, FOMC might make things not to move. Even though we have retail sales, you might see that not really moving that much. So this is gold. Whoa, gold, gold, gold. Gold actually broke out of this resistance, guys. I missed this. Uh, but I'm hoping maybe we're going to have a nice re uh, reversal before we go even higher. I'm expecting to see a very nice bullish move. But uh, if you can check there, uh, I think it's obviously a very nice uh, bullish structure. We are coming from this nice uptrend. We had a proper support area. So now what we want is to see if maybe the market will be reversing or creating something that we can use so that we can uh, jump straight to the to the market because uh, because at the moment we can see that the market is actually overbought we can jump here a reversal i think it can actually uh, work nice very very nice you see so let's push to the next one which is us uh, 30. we did smash us 30 by the way uh, we did smash US 30. I think I'll have to show you how we send our signal. So, but at the moment, even if we did smash US 30, we are actually around this resistance, and it shows it showed us that uh, the market might struggle breaking out of this. You see, so let's hope that maybe things are going to be in a very nice uh, in a, in favor of US 30, or we have we can get a nice reversal before going higher. But things are looking good, but sometimes the market doesn't really care, even if things are looking good, as long as technically or technical analysis says this is a resistance, sometimes the market will end up respecting that. You can see that we had a proper, a proper buy pending order, which we did smash. You can see that the market did uh, touch actually this resistance and we started to have this reversal. So which means we might wait for this uh, reversal or maybe the market might end up breaking out. That will also be good. And then we can continue buying. But if it reverses, we'll have to wait and see where will it stop. Are we going to stop uh, down there uh, way too lower or on our support uh, area or maybe the market will just uh, get out. So it will be uh, out uh, actually that the market will decide that right at the moment we just have to relax we did smash that already so let's push let's push to the next one yeah um nasdaq actually did not really have, let's say nasdaq doesn't really have enough momentum at the moment so we can see that the market tried to create another structure a smaller a uh, down structure you see you can see a downtrend structure which we can see that we did identify but it seems like the market will be getting out of that structure we were expecting to see a very nice push maybe this week uh, that will happen i think this week will be actually mostly on a buy the market will be giving us some very nice bullish moves so this is what we had the market was going down very aggressively 
we had this nice reversal aggressive by the way and after that the market did push the upside but what we expect now is once the market broke out of that resistance we expect to see the market continuing to go to the upside and this is our pending order so the market did consolidate a little bit around this area so i'm expecting to see the market going up but the market might not really move as nice as this as we have some economic news i think we will have some consolidation until wednesday where they are going to uh, release their new rates are they going to cut with 25 or 50 i think that is going to be up to uh, uh powell uh, i think it's going to be up to powell but anyways i'm expecting the rates cuts but maybe 25 is going to be the number i don't think they want to go uh, beyond that so smp 500 nothing much guys you can see that the market already is on this uh, resistance so which means we can't do much we can't do much let me remove that it doesn't really make sense there so it doesn't really make sense for us to do anything here unless if maybe the market breaks out we expect the market to do what to break out or maybe the market will reverse but the way the market is playing around this resistance it seems like the market will be trying to go down you see but we will have to relax uh, wait and see we just have to relax and uh, see what will happen so let's push to the next one uh, which is nvidia whoa nvidia did actually try to continue going even higher as i will be continuing to introduce this quite slower uh, we are going to have enough time guys we're still gonna have our live sessions and stuff but uh, at the moment things are not really nice on my side that's why i'm not really doing much on the live session so we're still gonna introduce uh, these stocks not only nvidia because sometimes they are quite straightforward they still respect our technical analysis very nice or let's say our strategy which means we have to jump straight to that and you can still trade them very well on xness the same broker said you should check out uh, the link it's in my description so if you want to be part of that just let me know and don't forget guys today is the last day of this strategy uh, of this package limited offer it's lifetime vip signal you pay only once then you're done you see so you can scan this qr code or just whatsapp me or check my description you will find my whatsapp link so after tomorrow please guys don't ask me about that 27 dollar special because this is going to be our normal this is actually we're going back to our normal price and i think i've i pushed that special for quite some time trying to give everyone a chance to eat with us so now we are on us oil you can see that yes the market it is still on that downtrend structure and uh, the market is still actually showing us that we are on a downtrend structure but we had some reversals so i thought maybe the market was going to reach this previous support area before going lower but it seems like the market did not really reach that but we have this area unfortunately we had so many candlesticks around that level we could not really know about that so we'll see if maybe the market will be continuing or maybe the market is willing to touch this level before going down we will have to wait and see uh we, we don't really have to rush but i believe that the market actually reached the lowest li little bit lowest level there i think maybe it's time for the market to bounce back I think that it's actually the time so anyways thank you very much don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends this is kenzo extra out forex